Hi pros, welcome to Ask Wired, where we answer your questions through biblical principles. As it says in Psalm 119 verse 105, your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. It feels great to be recognized after putting much effort in finishing a project successfully. Whether there are monetary bonuses or other incentives, being recognized can truly boost an employee's morale and can push him or her to do better. However, what happens when your boss steals the credit for your work? In this Wired segment, we will walk you through on what to do when dealing with credit stealing and how to prevent it from happening all the time. Are you ready? The workplace can sometimes be a corporate jungle because of competition. It is inevitable. In the same way, staff and employees do not always play the game by the same rules. Thus, credit stealing happens regardless of the position in the corporate ladder. Lynn Taylor, workplace expert and author of Tame Your Terrible Office Tyrant says, Power grabs can happen in any corporate environment because the system is simply set up for competition. Competition is not necessarily wrong. In fact, healthy competition helps drive employees to do better, beat their deadlines, and also achieve their goals. One of the hardest things to deal with is when the boss steals the credit. A lot of employees feel helpless when this happens. Talk it out with your boss. It does not necessarily mean that it's rebellion. However, here are five things that you need to remember when you are faced with this situation. First, don't assume the worst. Terry Hockett, the chief executive of What's for Work, a career site for women, says, avoid assuming that the boss did in fact take credit for your work intentionally. There are those times that you would feel that they do speak in a way that steals the credit. But understand that this is a way for a top leader to show care and consideration for all aspects of their team. Let us give them a break. We cannot just allow our boss to take all the blame for all our mistakes and take responsibility when the team's performance goes wrong. Let them have the honor and joy to celebrate with the team in a season of success. Keep your heart right towards people in leadership. Second, assess the situation. To see your boss receive all the recognition for the work that you have done can be emotionally dangerous. When this happens, just relax, stay calm, and be objective in looking at the situation. It will help to ask yourself this question, did I sign up for this? It actually pays to check your contract before making any move. In several companies, such as the ones related to advertising, branding, marketing, and creatives, the company ensures that everything that is submitted by the employee becomes the intellectual property of the company. When this happens, just smile. Understand that your work has been compensated and there's no need for you to run after your boss. Remember, you signed up for this. Third, be open about your current projects. But wait, before you go and talk to everybody about your project, remember the Joseph Principle. The very moment he got the vision, he came talking to his brothers about it and ended up a slave in a foreign land. Figuratively, what I mean is, being open about your project does not always have to be verbal, but it can be done by posting a photo or a logo at your workstation or a compelling progress tracker on your bulletin board. In this way, people can easily know what you are working on without you telling them about it. Fourth, document your work. According to Matthew 12:33, a tree is identified by its fruit. If a tree is good, its fruit will be good. If a tree is bad, its fruit will be bad. Make it a habit to document your work. A lot of working people dread documentation and paperwork, but the truth is, it is your best course of action. Sometimes, talking to people about your sentiments regarding your work not being recognized can make you look like you're a bitter and sour graping employee. However, if your work is documented properly, then your work will speak for you. And lastly, talk to your boss. Many times, an employee would choose to air sentiments to colleagues about it. However, doing so will not bring a solution to your concern. Talk to your boss and do not act in a rash manner. A humble and submissive inquiry can go a long way. There is nothing wrong in checking in with your boss if you see that he or she is getting all the credit that is due to you. Remember, the Bible is clear that the laborer deserves its wages. Bottom line, your next steps will determine how much you really care about the credit. 
As we close, let me remind you of Colossians 3.23. Work willingly at whatever you do as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. And remember, greater is the reward that comes from our real boss in heaven. Revelations 22 verse 12. Look, I am coming soon, bringing my reward with me to repay all people according to their deeds. And that's it for this month's episode. Hope you enjoyed learning with us. If you've got questions, ask Choir. We want to hear from you. Send in your questions through our COP Wired Professionals Facebook page.